Hello everyone, welcome to Elderberry Novels. On this channel I like to talk about literature, readathons and other booktube related topics. In today's video I wanted to talk about or do the soundtrack to my life book tag. It was created five years ago by Jenny King. So this tag has been recreated both on YouTube and on um, book blogs and I hope that uh, there's no tea surrounding concerning this tag. Okay, so let's begin. The first question is opening credits, favorite childhood book. So this one was not that difficult. There's a definite winner. This book is Anne of Green Gables by Lucy M. Montgomery. It's a series from, unfortunately, I only read three books, but I watched the whole series, so I kind of know the ending. And it follows the everyday adventures and misfortunes of Anne Shirley. You see her grow uh, from childhood, I think she's 12 years old at the beginning, in well into her adulthood. She's stubborn, dreamy, romantic, and has a strong sense of living by her values and principles. I saw her as a great role model. Question number two, Waking Up, a book that got you out of a reading slump. For this one, I chose Just Kids, written by Patti Smith. This book is Patti Smith's autobiography. I did not know anything about her before reading this book, and it definitely wasn't a problem at all. I learned about her music thanks to this book and about her life as well, obviously. She narrates her moving to New York and living, de living there in her 20s. It's a wonderful book, it's interesting, it's sad and it's hopeful. I could not put it down. I would recommend it to anyone who is currently moving out, either from their parents' house, from one country to another or simply from one home to another. The next question is school. A book you had to read for school that you ended up loving. So for this one, I actually chose three books. And one of them is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams. The other one is The Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Daddy Ofo. And the last one is The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende. So the first two are plays and the last one is a novel which has little specks of magical realism but it's not really classified as a book of this genre. It's often compared with uh, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel García Márquez because it also narrates the story of a family. Question number four is Fallen in Love, an author you love so much you want to read all of their books. I could not choose just one and I, I feel like this could change in the future, but at the moment there are two authors I would like to read as many of their books as possible. The first one is Khaled Hossein, author of A Thousand Splendid Sons and, and The Mountain's Echo. And also The Kite Runner. The second author is Yuval Noah Harari, the author of Homo Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind and 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. So far I have read two books from the first author and three books from the second one. And I am looking forward to reading And the Mountain Mountains Echo, which I have recently received as a gift. Question number five is fight a book with the best action sequence. So for this one, I am just going to go with the Lord of the Rings written by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have not read the books, but I listened to the audiobooks, which I love. And I think they create the action scenes very, very well. Question number six, breakup. A book or series you did not finish. 
So I am choosing a series which I didn't finish when I started reading it. I think I was about 12 and it's the Fairy Oak series by Elisabetta Known. And it's a series of seven fantasy novels. I only read two of them, which were not even <laughs> the first two books of the series. And I think I was a little bit too old for this series. Perhaps it's better for younger children under 11, about 10. I read it when I was 12 and I was too old, I think. Question number seven is Hanging with Friends, a book you think everyone else should read. So, for this one, there are actually two books I recommend to absolutely everyone. And one of them is Homo Deus, the other one is Homo Sapiens. I think this one, because it talks about the future and the present, is perhaps more appealing to a wider audience. And yes, I just recommend this to everyone I know, everyone I don't know. <laughs> so I'm recommending to you I'm recommending this to book to you as well. I hope you read it. It's great. And um there's also 21 lessons for the 21st century, which is a little bit shorter, but I think that it's better to read it after you have already read the other two books or at least one of the two books because you get a sense of what he's talking about because you have read more about it in the previous books. Question number eight is Breakdown, a book that seriously affected you, had you crying your eyes out. So there is clearly a winner for this question. I cried so much while reading this book and I read it super quickly because I just wanted to know what happened. And I had to make stops because I cried and I'm not sure if it will make everyone cry or if it's just me. But it's Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. And this book follows three siblings. First we get to know them separately because they each have a wonderful and heartbreaking story to tell you. And then you know about, a, about their newfound friendship as siblings because they didn't know each other before. It's a heartwarming story about family, about love, about wanting to fit in and fighting, finding your tribe. And I just think it's a very wonderful read. And we are halfway through this deck. Question number nine is Road Trip. Your favorite series of more than three books. So... I think I'm just going to go with Harry Potter, a clear, I don't know, the traditional series of everyone's childhood. Especially because nowadays I don't really read series. I only read series when I was in middle school and high school, maybe even primary school. But nowadays I don't read series anymore. So I don't have any recent recommendations. Question number 10. Flashback. Your favorite book from 10 years ago. So, for this one, I'm going to choose The Night Rainbow by Claire King. It's a story told from a little girl's perspective. She lives with her mother in France on the countryside in a cottage. And she just tells you how she plays with her sister and how she meets other people in the surrounding area and what she does with her mother but I think, well, it's a very slow book but it's very hard heartwarming and sad at the, at the end but also because it's so such a nice book I wasn't expecting it to be a nice book I was very fearful there would be a very dark twist at some point. Fortunately, it didn't happen. So I just recommend this book to you because it's a very nice, quick read. So question number 11, or prompt number 11, is getting back together. What, what book do you not stop rereading? 
this has a very quick answer. I usually don't reread books just because there are always so many books I haven't read yet that I just try to read all those books as or as many of them as I can. But I have been thinking about rereading maybe The Hunger Games, one of the books from the series, or Wuthering Heights for October this year. Prompt number 12, Wedding, a book that is really special to you. So for this one, I chose a book set in China and Wedding is a funny prompt for this one because it actually narrates the story of a newlywed couple that um, clashes a little bit because one of them has only, know, only known about tradition and what has always been done and the traditional roles in a marriage while the other one has other expectations and this book is East Wind, West Wind by Pearl S. Buck and it's a special book to me because when I was younger my mother reached into her bookshelf and recommended this book to me and it was a very interesting book for my very young brain. <laughs> Prompt number 13 is Moment of Triumph, the longest book you've ever read. So I usually don't read extremely long books but this one is The Three Musketeers and I had low expectations for this book just in case. Uh, I wasn't disappointed but I was pleasantly surprised at times so I don't know what the general opinion about this book is I guess it's considered a, a real classic of literature and I will bring together the last two prompts which is that scene a book or series you wish had ended differently and funeral book with the best worst epilogue so i'm going with worst obviously to go <laughs> with the the prompt number 14 and so it's a series that i wish had ended differently and it's definitely the divergent series i felt well i was so disappointed with the end of of the series when i read this book i guess many more people were and finally who do you tag for the end credits. So I will tag one sleepy reader, my dear friend from booktube. <laughs> I hope you watch this video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more bookish content, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.